We're ready. Q&A, pretty standard. Uh, we do these occasionally. I ask you all for questions on Twitter and Instagram as well, and you reply to me basically, and most of the time, the questions are pretty suspect and strange and weird about Guy Sang Bong mainly, um, because you're all as insane as I am. First question then is from Brayden. Thoughts on our season so far? Most of these questions, or quite a few of them, are about Forest, of course. To sum it up, really, though, first half of the season, absolute shambles. Second half, slight improvement. Yeah, probably about probably about fair, to be honest. Aceft, I do hope I'm saying your name right, mate, um, even though you, you've literally told me how to say it before. Favourite three Forest players of all time. Shows my age, really, uh, and that I haven't seen us win anything. Um, ben Osborne, Joe Lolly, and Matty Cash, probably. I would consider Britta Samba longer until he became a raging cheat in Uruguay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say him anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Chrissy Cohen. Chrissy Cohen. Oh, no, who do I drop off that list? Lolly? I okay, I want, I've got to put, I want to put Chrissy Cohen on that list. Chrissy Cohen instead of Joe Lolly. Kanan has asked a good friend of mine and good channel as well. Go and subscribe to him. If you could fight any footballer, who would it be and why? What an interesting question. Uh, Richard Keogh. Richard Keogh, because I want to see if he can cry in front of me this time instead of just doing it on the telly, because that would be funny if he could do that again. Mr. Charlie, Aston Villa supporter, has asked me quite a few questions, really. Uh, a lot of them about Matty Cash, of course. Have Matty Cash back or keep Gaitang Bong? Um, I'll let you work that one out. What would you do to get Matty Cash back? Well, I'm pretty sure the last Q&A was titled I'd run around the entire of Nottingham to get my cash back. So I'd do that. Does Cash deserve an England call-up? 100%. Yeah, I'm not just saying that because he used to play for my team. I really think he deserves it. 100% he deserves it. Because look at how easy he's made the step up to the Premier League. And I know Villa have kind of tailed off a little bit recently, but... Obviously, I think a huge reason as to why they were doing so well for the first half of the season is because of Cash. And yeah, they've got Watkins and Martinez as well. Matty Cash deserves it 100%. Is Andre Silva the most underrated striker in the world? Or player, in fact? He's got more goals than Haaland. Well, I think the fact that I didn't know that says a lot about that question. And that he is, because I didn't know that he'd scored more goals than Haaland. I know he's at Frankfurt, and I haven't really watched much of Frankfurt at all. So, um, yeah, I'd say yes. Dom has asked, with such an underwhelming season and knowing you're bored, if they get rid of Hewton, who do you want? Hmm, well, I, did, I haven't really answered this question, to be fair, because I don't know, quite frankly. Probably go and find some random Frenchman or Spaniard that I've never heard of. But then again, it worked with Sabine Mucci until the last couple of months. I'd love Eddie Howe, but I know he's most likely going to go to Celtic. So that's kind of out the window already. And why would he come to Forest? I don't know whether he's available or not. Jakanovic, the ex-Fulham boss. He's been there and done it before. So maybe him. Woods, very good friend of the channel. This is just um, beyond them fair. Would you rather have kept Matty Cash or keep Joe Wall? Absolutely love both of them, beyond words. Um, but I would say keep Matty Cash because, hear me out, we get rid of Wazza, we still have McKenna, we still have MB So and Figueredo, when he actually wants to, can be a good player. But when we get rid of Matty Cash, we have Carl Jenkinson and Cyrus Christie. And yeah, Christie has, to be fair to him, been very good recently, but he's no Matty Cash. You know, he is nothing close to Matty Cash's level. So that is why, if you get rid of Cash, we're significantly worse off than getting rid of Wall. Jordan, very interesting question from you, and good friend as well of the channel. Would you change your first name? If you would change it, what would you change it to and why? Um, probably wouldn't change it, to be fair. I, I, I don't really know what I would change it to. David's quite a standard name really isn't it like it's not that original i've never really had an opinion on my name to be fair it's pretty standard ethan here we go it just it had to be a it would be illegal i couldn't do this video if this was not mentioned would you rather have prime rio ferdinand or prime gatang bong rio ferdinand kind of obvious i'm not even gonna bother saying your name even though i should probably know how to say it but if you had to choose to spend a week with one forest player 
who would it be and why? Probably Yuri Ribeiro because he's a DJ and who doesn't like DJs? The cool. <laughs> Ask him as well if he's going to stay and what he thinks about being dropped for Tyler Blackett and Gautang Bong. Or Joe Wall, because it's Joe Wall, a day in the life of Wall, and says it all, really. Good morning. Jeno, okay, interesting question again about having a fight with someone. What YouTuber would you have a fight with? <laughs> what of all the questions you could ask? Probably the Master Books, to be fair, because um, he gave a pub a bigger shout out than. Maxwell. Bray, as always, has asked some very, very interesting questions and not in a good way. I don't even understand this first one. Skip Watford around me or have toes harvest like Minecraft wheats. I don't play Minecraft, so I don't know what that means. Guatang Bong Appreciation Foundation has also asked your least favourite kind of cheese. Again, don't really have one because I only really like cheddar. Wednesday Dale's pretty decent as well about it really. NFFC Today or LJP Gaming or Luke in fact, pretty dead channel and uh, Twitter account to be quite honest. But he's asked, he's now raging at the PC screen. Yeah, say. yeah. Support Darby. Yeah, definitely that. Yeah, definitely yeah. there. Yes, what's this? Definitely. What's this? Definitely 100% Darby. What YouTuber do you watch the most? I swear I've been asked this before in a previous Q&A. Right now, I'd probably say Villa on tour. And it says a lot, really, that I don't even support Aston Villa, and yet I watch his channel the most right now anyway. Because it's quality. Really, really entertaining. I love the banter that he has with all of his mates uh, when he could actually do vlogs. It doesn't matter to me that it's not my team. They're really, really funny easy to watch videos. I would name a load of other channels, but there's there's a lot of channels that I could say that are my most watched, to be honest. Will you ever stream on Twitch? Um, probably not, to be quite honest. What YouTuber do you dislike the most? Um, I've never watched him ever, but just looking at his face winds me up. Jake Paul. Favourite player to never play for Forest? Um, probably Stevie G. Steven Gerrard. Uh, back in the day anyway, he was like my idol for some reason. Top five tips for making a YouTube channel. Don't overthink what you're doing. You know, just get on with it. Do it. Be you. You know, don't... I'm, you know, to be fair, I say that, but I literally do it to this day. I've overthinking everything that I do, not just with YouTube, it's, it's one of my flaws in life. I overthink everything that I do. Have a basic understanding of editing, have a decent level of humour, try and talk at a normal volume, you know, a, a decent volume, and sound like you're enthusiastic as well, because look at my videos back in the day to now, there's quite a huge impact, really. Don't be obsessed with the numbers as well, and I've fallen for this before, if a video doesn't do that well, I let it get to me, and I shouldn't, but uh, particularly when you're a really small channel, you seem to be fixated on the views even more, and there's no need. Alright, that is Twitter, 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 and um, I don't know what that was, but now I'm going to do Instagram. Go and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, for my one post every five years. Joe has just said Stoke City 3-1. If it was 4-1, then you would have been a Derby fan or like a Swansea fan just trying to wind me up. But uh, you've got Joe Wall as your profile picture, so I don't really know why you're saying that, mate. Who are your favourite five channels that aren't big? And I'm going to classify that as under 10,000 subscribers just so we can draw a line somewhere. I don't know whether I should include you, being as you asked the question, but I'll probably just say Tristan24. He's a pretty standard lad, yeah. Good channel. Support Swansea, that's the only downside, but you know. Good channel. Dawn Tour, legend, absolute legend. And it was one of the, it was a pleasure to go on his stream the other day. I went on his channel to do a review for Bristol City. And I've watched that guy for like a year before I even did YouTube. And it was one of the most surreal experiences I ever remember going on his channel. Kanan, a uh, very good friend of the channel. Carlisle support, of course. Go and check out all these channels, by the way, because they all deserve more than what they get. They, they deserve a lot more notice. Kanan does a lot of FIFA content, of course. In fact, these final three all do FIFA content. And saying that I don't really do FIFA quite as much as I used to, I, I try and do more football because I, I prefer that, to be honest. And that's another thing with YouTube that Lucas always do what you enjoy. Never force content. Very, very good channel. And again, saying it's FIFA, when I watch, I am entertained, you know? And 
that it takes a lot for me to be entertained by FIFA these days. And yeah, really funny, well-made videos. Another channel quite similar to Kane in ways, Straught. Without a doubt, one of the most underrated channels on YouTube. And if you're watching this uh, Straught, massive amount of credit to you because the amount of editing that you do, it must take you ages. Apart from the fact that you sign Massey Cash at Crystal Palace. Getting rid of one spice boy to bring in another. And also this really might piss off David, so I'm all for that. Definitely go and check out Straw. And another channel that deserves a lot more credit than it actually gets, Maxwell. The biggest channel on this list, he's absolutely smashed it the last, well, as long as I've known him really. I've known Maxwell before he and I both had 100 subscribers and now he's got 7,000, 6,000. Uh, the fact that I've lost count says a lot, really. Woods is asked, Danny Drinkwater or Gaitang Bong? Phil Jones. Lacroix, two good questions from him as well. Who would you like Forrest to sign? Now, I'm not going to say players because I just don't know, quite frankly. But going up position, and it says a lot about the season when I'm picking about six players, but striker, a midfielder, a centre back. A left back, a right back, and a right winger, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of them probably centre back and left back, more backup options, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's where I think right now I should be improving. If you have enjoyed this QA, everyone, please, please make sure you follow me on Twitter and social media. So for future QAs, you do not miss out on any questions you may want to ask me. And just because, in general, I post a lot of rubbish on my Twitter, really. So Go and follow both of those. Subscribe to this channel, of course. Please drop a like on the video if you do enjoy as well. They will not be a Huddersfield stream. I'll just tell you right now because I'm finally going to look like a human being again. I'm going to get this absolute mob cut. So, you know. However, though, in the evening of Saturday, I will be doing a live post-match reaction. And I'll probably get, you know, Woods and Bray and LJP on most likely. And... Just do it, just do that because I can't do a stream. So yeah, tune in for that probably in the evening at some stage. And yeah, lots of content to come in the very near future, everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.